this week we're focusing on focusing on stress and how that can implicate your athletic development as a footballer. Um, I'm using this iceberg um, visual again. Um, so it's a good um, visual to have in the back of your mind um, that the things that um, we think about and the feelings that we have from an emotional point of view um, have a direct correlation with our actions and our behavior. Thoughts equal actions and how you respond after a mistake is one way that you might see this. So this can happen in training um, or you might be really good at training, um, at responding to your mistakes, but on game day where there's more pressure, um, maybe you respond a little bit differently. So just like practicing the physical component of the skill, our thought process is just the same. We want to have the same uh, approach to our mental game as we do our physical game in that it's all about getting better um, and understanding um, that we're all different and we all respond very differently um, under pressure. And our perception to certain types of pressure in the game can be different too. Okay, so we've got two different types of stress that can impact a athlete from a recovery point of view, and that is physical stress. Um, which athletes tend to pay more respect to physical stress. So things like muscle soreness and body fatigue. Um, and more often than not, um, we tend to respect the physical side, having, you know, feeling our legs are sore from maybe the weight session the day before, or um, maybe your body's um, physically sore from the hits and bruises on the game. Um, and more likely we, we respect it. Um, we're aware of it and, and we make actions and accommodate um, our decisions to help us recover from a physical point of view. Here's um, two common um, traits that we see amongst um, high competitive uh, elite athletes, uh, as well as community-based athletes uh, and state league athletes. So it doesn't matter what level you're playing um, at, we can see um, these common traits. Um, and more often than not, um, you'll experience one or the other. So you might have a, a goal that you set and you start focusing on the um, work that you need to do to reach that goal. And then you'll have a, a bit of a tendency to be more in the overworking and overthinking category um, because you really care about that goal and you're, and you're um, set on, on reaching your goal. So these are some of the things that can happen when we're experiencing, whether it be a life stress or an emotional stress that we're feeling. Um, and to simply put it, this graph is um, depicting two areas from a, from a athletic development point of view, more often than not, we want to try and secrete testosterone and growth hormone um, as best as possible. We want those two hormones, our um, sex hormones, to be at a peak to allow our body to recover from training, but also to improve. So if you're a developing athlete, you want your testosterone and growth hormone to be at an all-time high to allow you to get the benefits from your training program.